Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I'm getting a very early start this morning, which is super nice. The sky is just starting to lighten, and it's a great time of the day for me to spend in the kitchen, which I very much enjoy. It looks like Zoe did some late night baking overnight, which she likes to do, so I'm going to deal with the soaking dishes first off this morning. Today's video is a Hop Around the House collab hosted by Nicole Northgarden from Nicole Northgarden Home and Garden. Her channel will be linked below and there's quite a few of us joining in today and we're all going to be cleaning and decorating a room in our house to share with you. When you're done watching my video today, check out the link in the description box which will lead you to the next creator's video. So you can easily click on that and hop over to the next video to continue the tour. Sounds like fun, right? I'm excited, so let's go ahead and get started. As you've probably figured out already, I'm going to be sharing my kitchen with you today. For me, a nice, clean, tidy kitchen keeps my mind uncluttered and stress-free. I don't know about you guys, but if the rest of the house is in disarray, but my kitchen is under control, I'm totally fine with that and can go about my business with no problems whatsoever. But as soon as the clutter starts piling up on the counters from the different family members or the dishes in the sink start piling up, my stress level starts to rise. So I'm going to go ahead and take a few minutes to finish up washing and drying the few remaining dishes that I have on the counter before moving on to some light cleaning and finally adding some fun fall inspired decor to the kitchen. After the dishes are done, I moved on to vacuuming the floors. Typically when I'm done vacuuming, I'll move on to mopping, but as I was looking around, it didn't really seem very bad. So to save myself some time, I chose just to spot clean a few areas that needed attention. After that, I moved on to polishing all the stainless steel in our kitchen, which includes the refrigerator, the oven, and the microwave. Unfortunately, I am out of stainless steel cleaner, and I keep forgetting to pick it up at the grocery store. So today I'm just using a little bit of Windex and it does a pretty good job in a pinch. I then went ahead and moved to the opposite side of the kitchen starting by removing the older decor I didn't think I would be reusing and then dusting the shelves, the woodwork, and the window seals. Oh, yep, and of course, I can't forget about the light fixtures. With the cleaning complete, I could then move on to the decorating, which is my favorite part. I started out by adding a cutting board, and then in front of that, I added a bowl, to which I added a battery-operated candle, which is such a nice thing to have in the kitchen glowing at night for a cozy and cheerful mood. And then finally, I added a few pumpkins for a little festive touch. And then moving over to the counter by the sink, I decided to add this tin, which I found recently at a thrift store, or was it a flea market? I can't remember. But anyways, I found it, I loved it, and then I decided to add these mums. I found these cute little plants at Walmart for a dollar each, and then I added a little pumpkin in front as well. Hopping over to the other side of the sink with school back in session, I'd like to set up this area for quick and easy coffee in the morning. So I'll go ahead and place two cups and saucers, and maybe it's the old waitress in me, but I find it very comforting to see coffee cups ready to go like this. Not that I drink coffee, but I am loving this cappuccino mix lately, it is so delicious. So if I'm really organized, I'll go ahead and place one of the cups underneath the mug, so in the morning I just grab one, and I'm off to a quick and easy start to my day. The vintage canisters behind hold all of our coffee supplies. Plus, I have this jar filled up with mix, which we picked up at Walmart in their bulk food selection area. And oh my goodness, it is so yummy. And then finally, I just added a little pumpkin for fun to this area. You may have noticed earlier in the video that I already had the area behind my sink decorated, but I'm just going to redo it really quickly here to share with you guys what I did. I started off by adding a plank of wood, which I had distressed. I'd love to add that here on this counter. And then on top of that, I added my gorgeous red oil lamp, which I absolutely love. I'm going with a vintage baking theme, so I added a hand mixer off to the side and then a small glass jar that holds perfectly this recent fine which I really don't know what it is. I think it is for beating butter. 
I'm really not sure. I thought it was adorable though. I love the little red handle. So I picked it up and I'm using it in this little display. I also grabbed two of my vintage cookie cutters, which I absolutely love the scalloped edges on these. So I'm gonna add those to the corner here. And then to the opposite side of the oil lamp, I added a nice little white bowl and this pastry cutter with a red handle. And then added another cookie cutter. To the bowl, I added a vintage cake decorator and a few leaves for a little pop of color. Off to the side, I added a potted mum inside a milk glass vase, and then this adorable deer, which is a set of salt and pepper shakers. On the opposite side, I repeated the mums in a milk glass container, and then of course, added the matching deer. I should really apologize about my lighting. It has been dreary and raining all week, and I apologize that it is so dark in here, but I just needed to get this video done. I hope you understand. So I'd like to add a little something on this counter. So I started with a round cutting board, to which I added a red and white enamelware pitcher. I placed the final little mum plant that I picked up at Walmart inside of that. And then I added a plaid napkin for some extra color and texture, along with a vintage Quaker Oats container and a cottage cheese container filled with a little pumpkin and a little leaf. And then I added a few more pumpkins into the mix. And to finish off the display, I added a vintage cake decorator. I also have this tiered tray which has our kitchen essentials on it all the time, but I wanted to add a little bit of fall decor, so I added some dishes and a pewter mug. And then I had these cute little serving utensils with little wood handles, which I think are so adorable. So I added those inside a pewter creamer and then added that to the tiered tray as well. I added a floral ball to the top of the pewter glass. I added a small white pumpkin to the bottom shelf of the tray and then I also added a cute little salt and pepper deer into the mix as well. I think he's so adorable. And then I added another pumpkin to the top tier as well as the matching salt and pepper shaker. I then added a stack of small bowls to the top shelf um, just to have on hand for quick little snacks. I find that very, very helpful. And then I tucked in a sprig of leaves for a pop of color. And with that, the food prep side of the kitchen was complete with just a touch of fall to make it cozy. But of course, I wanted to add some fall touches to the opposite side of the room as well. So I started out at the table. I laid down a flannel table runner, which is actually just a blanket, which I folded in half, and then I added a plate rack. And to the plate rack, I added two beautiful red and white plates to kind of use as a tiered tray. To the bottom tray, I added a whole bunch of red, delicious looking Honeycrisp apples, which we'll be soon using for some apple crisp here on the channel. And to the top, I added a little pumpkin, which I had found at the thrift store and gave it a makeover. And then I added another floral ball along with some leaves. And that finished off a quick and easy little centerpiece for my table, to which I wanted to add a few pewter pieces because I think that adds a lot of warmth. So I added a candlestick, and then I have this gorgeous vintage coffee pot, which I added as well. A few salt and pepper shakers, which I just recently found. And then a pewter creamer finished off this space. To the table, I also added two red and white transferware plates that I had which I topped off with two white bowls, and finally two lovely ironstone coffee mugs to finish off the look. Off in the corner, I added a beautiful red mum to the side table, along with this cute little owl that I think I picked up at Target last year. I then moved to the opposite side of the table to work on decorating the shelves that I had hanging on the wall. The first thing I did was to decorate the hooks below the shelf by adding two vintage thrifted aprons, which are in a delightful red and white check, which I absolutely love. 
and then I hung three of my newly acquired collection of wood handled utensils into the mix as well and I absolutely love them hanging here. To the top of the shelf I added a crock filled with beautiful red leaves into the middle and then off to the side I added a medium sized vintage baking pan which I think is so cool. And then to the other side I added two loaf pans that my mom just recently gave me and then I also wanted to add in this circle cake pan as well and I had to kind of move things around a little bit till I found a way that I liked that they looked. After that I added two white bowls in front of the cake pan and then one of the two little cookie tins which I found recently at the thrift store and then I added this little shifter which I found a long time ago. It's a floral enamelware shifter which I think is the coolest thing and I used that to help prop up the little cookie tin. To the opposite side I added a red handled vintage rolling pin along with a milk glass pitcher in front of the baking pan. I then went ahead and added one more of the little cookie tins, which I think are so adorable. I added a shifter, which I found at the thrift store. I decided to add a wooden handled whisk to the cake pan as well. And then I tucked a couple wooden spoons into the milk glass pitcher. I also decided to use a vintage cookie cutter on the left side. Um, I had it on hand. I think it's adorable, so why not use it? <laughs> so then I decided I should add another cookie cutter to the opposite side. And then I wanted to tuck something into the loaf pan, so the only thing I could find was this wood-handled wine opener. So that did the trick. I added a wooden spoon to the bowls, and then I decided to tuck in a few little pumpkins here and there along the shelves for a finishing touch. I hope you enjoyed today's clean and decorate with me in the kitchen. I would love for you to hit that like and subscribe button, plus leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. And of course, make sure you take advantage of the link down in the description box for the next video and our hop around the house tour today. I know I will be as well as I'm excited to see what's next. As always, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.